In this video you will be briefed about the basics of computed tomograph scan. We will discuss about the introduction, preparation, equipment, procedure, uses, benefits, indications, and contraindications, risks and limitations. A computed tomography scan allows doctors to see inside your body. Computed means the use of computer. Tomography is a Greek word where Thomas means slice, graphy means write. Therefore, computed tomography is the process of generating a two-dimensional image of a slice or section through a three-dimensional object, a tomogram. Computed tomography is an examination that uses X-ray and computer to obtain a cross-sectional image of the human body. CT scan shows detailed images of different parts of the body, including the bones, muscles, fat, and organs. It mimics an X-ray movie, where continuous images display on a monitor. It is a non-invasive diagnostic imaging procedure. It is ionizing in nature. That mean the individual is exposed to radiation. CT scan images provide more detailed information than plain X-rays do. How do you prepare a patient for a CT scan? Patient is asked to wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothing during the examination, or may need to wear a gown during the procedure. Metal objects, including jewelry, eyeglasses, dentures and hairpins, may affect the CT images. Leave them at home or remove them prior to your exam. You patient may also be asked to remove hearing aids and removable dental work. Patient may be asked to remove any piercings, if possible. Patient will be asked not to eat or drink anything for a few hours beforehand, if contrast material will be used in your exam. A special dye called contrast material is needed for some CT scans to help highlight the areas of your body being examined. Contrast material might be given to you by mouth. If your esophagus or stomach is being scanned, you may need to swallow a liquid that contains contrast material. This drink may taste unpleasant by injection. Contrast agents can be injected through a vein in your arm to help your gallbladder, urinary tract, liver or blood vessels stand out on the images. You may experience a feeling of warmth during the injection or a metallic taste in your mouth. By enema. A contrast material may be inserted in your rectum to help visualize your intestines. This procedure can make you feel bloated and uncomfortable. You should inform your physician of all medications you are taking and if you have any allergies. If you have a known allergy to contrast material, your doctor may prescribe medications, usually a steroid, to reduce the risk of an allergic reaction. How does the equipment of CT scan look like? The CT scanner is typically a large, donut-shaped machine with a short tunnel in the center. You will lie on a narrow examination table that slides in and out of this short tunnel. Rotating around you, the X-ray tube and electronic X-ray detectors are located opposite each other in a ring, called a gantry. It contains a X-ray tube that generates X-ray beams, a detector that detects the X-rays passing through the patient's body, a collimator that narrows the beams of X-rays and the filters which are used to filter some rays from entering the patient's body that may be harmful. There is a computer workstation that processes the imaging information is located in a separate control room. This is where the technologist operates the scanner and monitors your exam in direct visual contact. The technologist will be able to hear and talk to you using a speaker and microphone. How is the procedure performed? The technologist begins by positioning you on the CT exam table, usually lying flat on your back. It looks like a large box-like machine with hole in the middle. 
Patient lies on narrow table that slides in and out of this hole. Straps and pillows may be used to help you maintain the correct position and remain still during the exam. Next, the table will move quickly through the scanner to determine the correct starting position for the scans. Then, the table will move slowly through the machine as the actual CT scanning is performed. Depending on the type of CT scan, the machine may make several passes. You may be asked to hold your breath during the scanning. Any motion, including breathing and body movements, can lead to artifacts on the images. While the table moves you into the scanner, detectors and the X-ray tube rotate around you. Each rotation yields several images of thin slices of your body. You may hear buzzing and whirring noises. A technologist in a separate room can see and hear you. You will be able to communicate with the technologist via intercom. When the exam is complete, you will be asked to wait until the technologist verifies that the images are of high enough quality for accurate interpretation. The CT examination is usually completed within 30 minutes. How does the images appear on a CT scan? Blood, contrast and bone appear bright on CT. Soft tissues appear gray on CT. Air and CSF or water appear dark on CT. These are some images of different parts of body showing CT scan image. A doctor may recommend a CT scan to help. Diagnose muscle and bone disorders, such as bone tumors and fractures. CT scans can detect bone and joint problems. It can detect and monitor diseases and conditions such as cancer, heart disease, lung nodules and liver masses. They can help locate a tumor, blood clot, excess fluid, or infection. CT scans guide procedures such as surgery, biopsy and radiation therapy. It can monitor the effectiveness of certain treatments, such as cancer treatment. Doctors can compare CT scans to find out if certain treatments are working. For example, scans of a tumor over time can show whether it's responding to chemotherapy or radiation. CT scanning is a painless, non-invasive and accurate imaging technique. A major advantage of CT is its ability to image bone, soft tissue and blood vessels all at the same time. Unlike conventional X-rays, CT scanning provides very detailed images of many types of tissue as well as the lungs, bones, and blood vessels. CT examinations are fast and simple, in emergency cases, they can reveal internal injuries and bleeding quickly enough to help save lives. CT has been shown to be a cost-effective imaging tool for a wide range of clinical problems. CT can be performed if you have an implanted medical device of any kind, unlike MRI. CT scan remains the choice of investigation for the diagnosis and management of many central nervous system diseases and trauma to head. CT scan is indicated in conditions like cancers and in cases of trauma to detect internal injuries and internal bleeding such as those caused by a road traffic or any other accident. Another indication is to pinpoint the location of a tumor, infection or blood clot and in muscle and bone disorders, such as bone tumors and fractures. CT scan examination is contraindicated in pregnant women. If dye is used, nursing mothers should wait 24 hours before resuming feedings. In case of allergies to iodine, this imaging technique is contraindicated. What are the risks of CT scan? Women should always tell their doctor and or CT technologist if there is any chance they are pregnant. CT scanning is, in general, not recommended for pregnant women unless medically necessary because of potential risk to the unborn baby. 
Also, there is no conclusive evidence that radiation at small amounts delivered by a CT scan causes cancer. But, there is always a risk of cancer from much larger amounts of exposure to radiation. Always remember, when a CT scan is recommended by your doctor, the expected benefit of this test outweighs the potential risk from radiation. You can always discuss the risks versus benefits of your CT scan with your doctor to explore whether an alternative imaging tests may be available to diagnose your condition. Because children are more sensitive to radiation, they should have a CT exam only if it is essential for making a diagnosis and should not have repeated CT exams unless absolutely necessary. CT scans in children should always be done with low-dose technique. Sometimes, the contrast material can cause medical problems or allergic reactions. Most reactions are mild and result in a rash or itchiness. In rare instances, an allergic reaction can be serious, even life-threatening. Limitations of CT scan A person who is very large may not fit into the opening of a conventional CT scanner or may be over the weight limit, usually 450 pounds, for the moving table. Soft tissue details in areas such as the brain, internal pelvic organs, and joints, such as knees and shoulders, can often be better evaluated with magnetic resonance imaging MRI. Any motion, including breathing and body movements, can lead to artifacts on the images. This loss of image quality can resemble the blurring seen on a photograph taken of a moving object. Thank you for watching the video. Please give your valuable suggestions, if any, in the comment box.